Hmm, that's some good lip balm. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now, I'm not sure what happened the last part, looking back at it. I mean, I started out so well, and then it started going downhill more and more, so maybe what happened was it was kind of a burnout. So, what I'm suspecting is, you know, maybe, just maybe, there's, there's the possibility of, you know, doing some doubles here instead to kind of ease the pain <laughs> to refresh myself. So yeah, I'm going to be doing doubles tourney at the Lynx Club here and then, you know, there, there's still a match that I got to do and whatnot, but one thing at a time, one thing at a time. And depending on how long I take, I may or may not split this up into two parts, we'll see. Anyway, doubles time. Lynx Club starts, <laughs> and it begins. The course of doom once again. Well, one one of the game's courses of doom. <laughs> Not as hard as the last two courses, as I said. Well, you know, uh, the Elf Short course and a course you haven't seen just yet. And did I overhit that? Oh, poopers! <laughs> Sorry, Neil. Well, actually, oh, you can reach it. Never mind. It's not that big of a deal as long as you can reach it, I'm sure. Maybe adaptable AI will work in our favor? Mm, kinda. <laughs> I mean, I might be able to chip this in. There's no wind at all, so I'm gonna do a, a lower shot here. Come on, angle this a little better here. It's because I have a, a slight fade to my ball, so that shows in my aiming thing. Yeah. Anyway, that looks good now. <laughs> And chip in, chip in, chip in, top spin, top spin. Oh, it died down really quick. Well, whatever. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'll settle for a par in doubles, I guess. I guess. What the heck, Bobby B. D -d 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 am? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, I think. I'm gonna try and get the team to reach this in two, hopefully, maybe, so let's smash her and see how it goes. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but it might. Just getting all over all the issues there, and, well, I kind of left them on the, I think on the slope slightly, but, eh, well, it is, it does have a good angle to it, but it just doesn't seem to be the, the, the kind of length that he needs. Yeah, it's a much longer hole than I gave it credit for, I guess. Well, then again, you know, that one shot I did. <laughs> I just might be getting greedy up to this, I mean, at this point. Alright, so as long as I get it on the green, he shoots. That's an approach. I can't use approach for my drop and stop at this point. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, something like there, and then a little backspin. But yeah, um, as long as I get us close here, we should be alright. Just gonna bounce right off the slope there and then backspin and potentially in the hole. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot and I think he can make that for birdie. And maybe the birdie train has gotten off to a start and will continue. Who knows? We'll see here I guess. Uh, that L short course though probably probably primed me well for precision shooting. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I think this is going to be a bit long, but I think the backspin will control it nicely. Yeah, puts it right back on the flat spot. That would be an easy birdie if he doesn't move the cursor. And he did not, so birdie it is. Two under par through three. And, and, and again for this hole, I think I'm going to go, especially with the wind here, I'm going to try and get past the tree there. So that, oh, miss hit a little bit. So that we are you know, in good position to actually make it through the hole, but whoa, 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 whoa hold on there, Bunker. <laughs> that's, that's not exactly where I was going for, but that turned out perfectly, actually. Like, I wanted to go to that lower area, but I just kept going and going. Fast fairway is a powerful beast. You know, my mistake took me that far right, but that, that wasn't as far right as I wanted to be. That's a good shot. I think I can work with that. I thought if that was the Elf Short course, he would not be forgiven for landing on the fringe. <laughs> I just moved this smidge to the left and the chip in. 
All right. All right, he's driving. Oh, boy. <laughs> this could be dangerous. Well, it shouldn't be that bad, actually. Maybe. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that, I guess. Um, can I get up there? Maybe. Oops. Uh, I forgot how to check the green specifically. Or maybe I... Wait, hold on. Isn't it... Yeah, B button, that's right. <laughs> I just kind of work by reflex too much, and I should look at the little finger jiggers. You know, at the upper right corner there. Alright. I think I can make the green... As long as I hit it off that slope so it slows it down a little bit. Because it's not going to stop otherwise with my driver. So it hit into the slope a little bit there. There we go. Well, actually, maybe thinking about that, maybe it didn't hit into the slope. Maybe it just died down when it hit the fairway. I don't know. But I will take that. And definitely take that. Wow. <laughs> Four under through five holes. And... And that fast fairway is always so scary on this one. Uh, I want to go like, yeah, I think that'll work. I, I am going to be actually hitting the fast fairway here in my plan, but it's going to be way back, so chances are I can control it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Especially with the rain and all like that, but... Not sure if I'd be that confident doing it if there isn't rain, but because <laughs> that that's that's a spicy meatball with the heath and all like that. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and control it here. Not gonna do anything fancy. Just gonna kind of backspin it on the fairway so it doesn't go into any heath or bunker or anything like that. But you know, it'll probably just keep on rolling because it's fast fairway and all. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's good though. Mm, that's a good angle, but will he be able to capitalize on it? Maybe, because this is golf after all. I think this is going to end up in the deep rough. Well, maybe not. I was saying the deep rough It's because it's going to bounce off that hill, but nah, it's just going to kind of stick me on the rough. Now, this is chipping territory, as long as I make the loft low, because I'm on the slope. And I moved it a little bit to the righty. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right, the fade. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Because, mm. yeah, when you when you have the character's fade going on, or, or, or a draw or something like that, it'll show even on the chips and it won't have enough time to curve back to where it needs to be. So you gotta, like, manually aim the line in the, the 3D mode. Uh, anyway, par 5, so I'm gonna be going for it in 2 as best I can. I'm gonna smash it through that opening and hopefully land it on that other... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, that's not Heath like I was expecting, but I kind of put Neil in an awkward spot, but chances are we're going to make the green in three anyway, so I, it's not really that big of a risk to do something like that. Because, yeah, you, you just cut 128 so yards, at, at, okay, 129 off the shot, and yeah, and then I get a shot to the green, and this will most likely lead us in birdie position. And yeah, so... I figured, eh, might as well just go for the potential of, ooh, yeah, that looks good. The potential of an eagle, but nah, not where I left him. But he got us all pretty cleanly, and there we go. Woo, six under. And, 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 this is easy as long as you can keep it up top. So that is what I'm going to try doing, because down below, down is death, as you know. <laughs> Oh shoot, that's bouncing on the fast fairway. That's, well, that might be workable. Maybe. It's gonna cut off the loft on this shot, but. Eh. Eh. What are you doing? Uh. Well, okay. <laughs> I suppose I'll take a par on that since I kind of flopped it up, but I don't really know why he wouldn't have a shot there. But anyway, <laughs> I need to lower my loft because I'm on the hill. And. And hope for the best, I guess. Just a little backspin to control for the drop and stop. And... Well, that's 
Not bad, I guess. It's not really what I was going for, because it didn't go as far as I thought it was going to, but... <laughs> Alright... So I think I'll continue on... Well... Well... Uh, yeah, I'll continue on the part for a hole or two more, maybe, might be, and then I'll potentially maybe start the match play in the next part. We'll see. <laughs> All I know is I'm going into this green with a forward, so I'm going to try using Super Backspin to control it. And, ooh, that's not too shabby, especially when I was trying to do something precise there with that mound in front. I don't think that's going to go in. He didn't move it right. Oh, I guess he didn't move it. Huh. It didn't look like he moved it to the right at all. Anyway. <laughs> Again, I'm going to try to control it with super backspin on the fast fairway. Just to get the ball out there as far as I can. Notice that it's going to the left of the bunker, so it's got a little bit of room for error there in case I do uh, go too far like I did there. But it, it, it ended up working out fine. Because there's the nice shot fairway, I mean, a nice shot in the fairway with the right angle to the green. Huge miss hit, though, <laughs> despite having the perfect lie, I mean, a perfect lie on the fairway. But, but, oh, Elf would not be appreciative of that. <laughs> but I'm, I think I can make this putt, maybe. Just smidge over to the left, just a little, tiny bit. Oh, should have moved a little more, but it still went in. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, par 5. Smash it good, Neil. And I do... Oh, and I do mean smash it good. And... 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 Oh, you're looking at the time on the... The thing. I wasn't as far into this part as I thought it was. Maybe I should just go and, uh... Yeah, just go and do the whole tournament this one part. <laughs> yeah, I'm hitting a, a driver out of the rough, which is not something that I would recommend in real life. Um, I mean, I guess you can if you've got a really fluffy lie, but mm, it's it's a tough one. Like, I don't remember if I told you the story about how I hit a 5-wood out of some thick rough that I thought was sitting up nicely. And my, my normal distance is like... 220 to 225 yards or so like that with a 5 wood. Well, as as I hit it, it just kind of went... It went up in the air, and then it just... Really quickly. <laughs> it only went probably a, a hundred yards or so, because the, the rough really knocked down the distance. And I, and I made good contact with it. Well, as best contact as I could make with it in the rough, but... You know, it was just... I misjudged a lie, and it cost me. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'm gonna hit up there. Just gonna hold myself back here a little bit. That, uh, I, mi I mean, I miss hit that, but I think it's gonna turn out all right. Because, yeah, it's gonna hit into the regular fairway. Fast fairway is gonna make it roll on a little sm nice and smooth. Well, until it hits that mound. The mound's probably gonna stop it, but it'll end up at the base of the mound. Because balls don't generally sit on mounds when they're on a fast fairway, like, I mean, when a mound is on a fast fairway, because it's so slick that balls just roll right off it. And that is an excellent shot. That is birdie time. <laughs> I'm not going to move the cursor at all. And there we go. Because it looked like it was pretty flat over there based on the transition of the flat spot and uh, the arrows, so I just thought I would trust it, and it works. And... Why are you under hitting the drive so badly? Especially on such long holes like this, that, we're, that it really matters. Eh, 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 I can't make that. <laughs> well, I'll hit over here and hope that he gets on close enough so that we can make par. See how bad my lie is over there? That's kind of the thing that's preventing me from getting to the green, I would say. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> That's another bad miss hit. Neil, Neil, you better get on there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, now uh, this is actually looking like a potential bogey, but I move it a bit to the right. I'm gonna hit way past the mark because it's raining, and ooh, I'm pleased with that considering how much trouble we had. All right. Oh, 
boy. Do is, does he have the precision for this? My answer is definitely not. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what to do here now. Uh, I like if I go all the way back to the sandwich, you see that's not a low enough trajectory, so I gotta really knock it down here. Five iron, I guess. And yeah, that looks that looks about right, I suppose. And then backspin. Uh, no, that was just so awkward. And you can't really trust the cursor in those situations, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly how it's going to turn out. In this case, it turned out to be a bogey. <laughs> That's too bad. But, you know, we're, we're still pretty far ahead of everyone. <laughs> so I'm not too worried. But I would have kind of liked to beat the highest score on the first run. Like, I, I still haven't really beaten the highest score that was set on the Marion Club because I was having emulator and lag issues and stuff like that. So I got to go back and get a clean run on that. And I know I'll be able to do it now, considering how well I've been playing lately. Don't count the Elf Short course. That, that course is death. <laughs> it's, it's, it's even dangerous to play it because it's so high up. And you just fall off the edge while you're swinging next to a cliff, and yeah, that could be, could be issue. <laughs> uh, let's see what he's got here. This looks really good. Yeah, I think I can manage getting that in with a putt. Well, after I switch things around and kind of guesstimate it, I'm gonna hit like way out here because I'm hitting through. Ooh. <laughs> I'm hitting through a lot of fairway, so I overhit it a little bit, but that was that was a pretty good good outcome overall, so I'm not gonna complain. Um I definitely wanna see if I can get up there this time. Remember this is the hole that if you go left it'll kind of put you out of position between the trees next to the green and the, the angle to it. So I'm gonna try getting over there. I mean not not that it's impossible to birdie from the other side, but you know, Neil's got the next shot. <laughs> so, it's a little bit of a risk. And, well, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, it isn't a bunker, but from this distance, only 144, I could even make it on the green in real life from a bunker. <laughs> from that distance. And, yeah, there we go. Very nice. But, I gotta sorta kinda judge the slope here, because I'm going across the base of it, which is a little finicky, because it's hard to tell exactly where the slope ends and where it begins. So I'm going to say right there, see where I am on that, and overhit it a little bit, because it's going to go uphill and back down. Okay, there we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that was... Oh no, don't hit in the water, please. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a shaky hole. And this is looking like it's going to go in the water. Well, uh, mm, oh, the bunker helped us. Thank you, bunker. Because <laughs> if that hit into the fast fairway, that would have been a lost ball in there. <laughs> and next thing you know, we're hitting Golf Galaxy and buying some Titleist Pro V1s. It's just, just a mess all over the place. It's so costly if you keep dropping balls in there. And yes, <laughs> there we go. That's a nice shot. Actually, what I do when I like, go for premium balls, I look for uh, used balls, and I can get, as long as I get them in decent condition, you know, they'll play basically like a slightly used ball, so... <laughs> and since technically, every time you hit a ball, it becomes used, even if it's new, it, it doesn't really make much of a difference, does it? <laughs> like, like, it's only new until you hit it once. <laughs> and you could scuff it right off the bat. Um, Oh yeah, I'm gonna level up her again. Uh, there we go. I know it's getting a little off balance here, but I need to kind of get her her stats going here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll even strengthen it a little bit so it stays straight overall. Like, you notice that there wasn't a change there, or at least it didn't seem like there was a change? There was actually a change. They, they, they just kind of weigh it based on those numbers on the right side here. Uh, so it, it, it won't change as drastically in future power level-ups or something like that, so... Anyway, I think... 
his spin is getting a little low, so I'm gonna up that. And call it a day with the double scup. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I wonder if I should do, like, the elf short course, like, way, way near the end of it. Like, after I do another sort of tournament area type place, because... Uh, oh, credits, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I gotta show the credits again. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking that because the Elf Shore course is like ultra difficult final boss territory, I might actually just hold off on it until the future, maybe? But I'm not positive on that. I mean, I could do it after I do the match play at the Lynx Club, but... Mm, 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 we'll see. <laughs> But for now, I didn't say this before, but now I will say it. I didn't make the game, these people did. I only made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. And hopefully I am helping a lot of people with this one, because there wasn't really a lot of walkthroughs that go into the stuff that I was going into, like the, ch like the chip-ins and how to, like, dropping and stopping low shots that stop quickly and, you know, all, all sorts of different shots for different situations. They usually keep things pretty basic and I wanted to show all the angles, I guess you could say. <laughs> and it's still not over, of course. You know, there's still much to do, even beyond the, uh, uh, the story mode, because there's stuff outside there. Like, when you go to the title screen, there's um, extra stuff like go-go gates, um, closest to the pin challenge, stuff like that. Uh, so it's... There's still gonna be a lot even after the main story ends. To be continued. Yes, yes. But... Not this part. <laughs> and yeah, so Mushroom Doubles Cup, all good, good to go. And, and I beat the high score, that is delightful. Yeah, what we got there? A whole nine to start Lynx course. And what else do we got here? A whole seven of the Star Lynx course. So this is this is what I was talking about here. Um whenever I can click into it. There we go. So we go into like say it will go to a quick game. And we'll just pick a character here. Look at all these modes we've got here. There's double, there's speed golf, club slots. You can play club slots for an entire round here. Go go gates. There's a lot of go go gates here like a ton six for each course yes <laughs> so that's another thing to do um back to quick game we're just gonna click through uh let's go the other way there's also a training mode that you can use to practice any sort of trouble hole or trouble shot that you would like to uh but i i just generally do stuff in the practice things in the story mode you know the practice areas in the story mode there's the nearest to the pin thing that i was talking about but anyway i'm I'm getting long-winded here, so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue the story! Not, not the quick game stuff. 